What's going on? Tectonic Edge here, and man, we got a ban announcement. Okay, don't usually do these kind of videos, but I figured why not? This is a big one. <laughs> okay, so we had three bands, and they're already on my screen, so you can see them. Big one, uh, I think everyone was expecting, it was rumored, Oko, Thief of Crowns, has been banned in Modern. So, all those Oko builds... Yeah, or at least all the uh, decks that are now including them uh, are going to have to pull that out. So, nice to see that, because um, Oko was getting a little oppressive. It'll be nice not to have every Oblivion Stone turn into a 3-3 Beast. Now for the uh, unexpected ones. That was the rumor. They have finally banned Mox Opal. So, I get to cry a little bit myself because uh, my Affinity deck and paper no longer works. Uh, but, it also means all the Urza decks have also taken a big hit. So, the big deck was the combination, the uh, Urza Oko builds. But, yeah, uh, I saw a lot of people uh, testing uh, Urza builds, uh, the other Urza builds. So, Wurza, uh, Four Color Urza. Just uh, and paradoxical Urza uh, in preparation for the Oko ban. Um, they get hit as well. We'll have to see whether the deck can survive uh, without Mox Opal. Um, it does still have Mox Amber, uh, which isn't the best substitute, but if they're running the Emery build, it's functional. We're, it's going to be a wait and see what form Oka, or what form Earth is going to end up taking. I don't think the deck is dead for good, um, but we're going to have to see what exactly is going to happen with it. Uh, we are definitely going to enter a time where there's going to be a lot of experimenting with newer of builds coming up, and um, a lot of other decks are going to. It's going to get some. It's going to be some pretty chaotic times in modern here coming up, at least online. Uh, in paper. We shall see. Uh, paper's always slower to react, but yeah. And finally, the big one. Mycosynth Lattice has been banned. So Tron, they hit us. Any fun playing Genie Tron? I mean, this is this is the big comp. This is the reason uh, a lot of people moved into the little Karn strategy in the first place was this combo. Uh, with this gone. Um, Genitron may not be completely dead. I mean, the wish ability is still very useful, especially without Oko Thief of Crowns going to be in play to just get rid of them. Um, but we shall have to see where the meta goes. I mean, it, it at this point it could also uh, favor a very uh, creature Tron heavy meta as well, or could drop. Uh, no, Karn, if you're playing Little Karn, you, you do have to kind of commit to it with the four slots. It's kind of hard to go half on, half on, in, half out. I've, I, I've cut to three in a lot of my decks, but going anywhere below three is kind of not worth running for the number of sideboard slots. We do get a sideboard slot back, but I'm general feeling is... I'm going to be testing a little more with the Creature Tron variants than the uh, remaining Genie Tron, especially since I'm thinking we're, we may see a bit of a resurgence of control builds, um, along with a few other things. The meta is about to change drastically. Uh, let me switch over here to decklist. So I haven't really done any changes in there. Okotron, yeah, no longer functional. Technically... Genitron isn't functional right now, and you know, let's take a look at that list. So for the Genitron, the Mycosynth Lattice is coming out. Um, I think my plan will be uh, keep probably keep my board similar. I'll, um, I think I'm going to want some graveyard hate in here, honestly, uh, with, with the uh, amount of unknowns we're about to hit. Uh, I'm going to up the number of Veil of Summers. And just go a little wider on the sideboard, I think. Um, at least until we figure out how the meta is going to stabilize. 
Uh, going to the green Tron version, the, the creature build. Uh, I've got my setup here. So pretty much I pulled out, in this build, I had pulled out the great creators and just added in a few more Thought Not Sears, Worm Coil Engines, and Thragtus. Or actually Thragtus is on the sideboard right now. I'm not sure what I was doing with this build. But the point is, more creatures. Um, I think I'm going to want to up the number of veil. This is just, I'm talking about what I'm going to want to do. Uh, feel free to listen to me or not listen to me. I could be entirely wrong on this. We shall see. Uh, more, I just wanted to get some thoughts out there and I want to hear from you guys too, what you think on this. Cause, uh, I wasn't expecting this band. I was expecting Oko, not, uh, Mox Opal and... Mycosynth Lattice, the uh, format is changing. Yeah, I'm a little bit of shock, a little bit of shell shock on that. A lot more than I was expecting. So, this members, I think, leaning, I'm leaning towards this switching to a more control heavy meta, um, at least for the immediate. Um, it could also go to a very creature heavy me meta, so maybe split the difference between. Uh, Add more Veil of Summers. Um, we shall see. All right. All my my uh, group chat. If you hear the buzzing, that's all my uh, buddies who play uh, Magic uh, texting on how their decks are changing. <laughs> I a buddy who plays Urza. I got a buddy who plays Etron, and neither of them are doing the same thing I am. Just uh, they're doing it on text. So, yeah, thank you for checking this out. Um, let me know uh, what changes you're thinking about making. Um, open for suggestions at this point. Um, I'm, I may even uh, – I have Eldrazi Tron in paper. I think that might be a good way to go um, online, but we're, we're just going to have to see. So, thank you for watching. I'll have uh, more videos with – I'll – with the updated deck list I'll be running coming soon, Tectonic Edge, signing out.